Turning now to the latest on COVID-19, three things to know as you start your Tuesday. Number one, Charlotte Mayor Vi Lyles pushing back a decision that would mandate masks in the Queen City, at least for now. She says she actually is in favor of it, but she wants to see what the governor decides about requiring masks statewide. He's expected to make that decision by Thursday. This, as a growing list of cities and counties are requiring masks in public, Greensboro becoming the latest, but also Raleigh, Boone, Durham County, Orange County, all require masks in public. Number two, North Carolina health officials announcing they will be releasing the names of schools and daycares with COVID-19 outbreaks. The state already does this for nursing homes. Number three, health experts say recent spikes in COVID-19 cases can be directly attributed to the end of the lockdown and people getting out and about about Memorial Day weekend around that time. And, and Carolyn, you've got the numbers. Both the Carolina has seen big surges in recent weeks. Yeah, Ben, it's unfortunate, but some startling numbers coming down this morning showing what happens when big crowds get together and people do not wear their masks. So let's take a look at the coronavirus uh, by the numbers. South Carolina seeing, unfortunately, a massive spike in cases. The state having just over 1,000 positive cases just a few days after its largest one-day jump. That's the scary part in all of this. North Carolina, a little bit of some good news, but... It is kind of tainted because we're seeing um, our first non-1,000 case jump in six days. Here's the thing. There's a caveat to all this. It all is coming with one of the lowest testing days of the last week. So fewer tests, fewer cases. That could be perhaps why the numbers are lower. The part that's really concerning officials are the number of hospitalizations in North Carolina. Those are still on the rise. And you can see the number over the past several days continuing to go up. Now in North Carolina, we're hovering just below 900 right now. So again, I know I say this a lot, but just trying to remind you that every number is a person. It's someone's mother. It's someone's daughter. It's someone's husband, best friends. So think about these things um, when we're talking about these numbers and these numbers these spikes in numbers and, and these startling statistics are all coming as a very big decision is looming for uh, Governor Cooper. He's expected to announce whether the state is going to go on with the planned phase three, which would be um, starting this Friday when phase two expires. Phase three would be opening up of bars, opening up of places like gyms, and then allowing more capacity inside of places that are already open. So th this is a big decision, Ben. A, a huge decision. And, and if you go by what he said in the past, it doesn't seem like that would be a likely thing to do at this point. But just honestly speaking, the political pressure at this point <laughs> just might be too much. He, he might not have. Well, and the fact, but. too, Ben, the, the you know, the way ahead, because we've said this, uh, um, a vaccine is not anywhere in the near future. We're not talking about months away. We're talking about possibly a year away. So do we keep everything closed until then? Of course it, not, You're yeah. right. The political pressure is mounting. Yeah, yeah, it's very, very difficult. And, and not to mention these small businesses. I mean, they, they can't take it anymore. Um, and yeah. it's, it's been a maddening time for them as well. No easy answers, that's for sure. All right, Carolyn, thanks.